Yeah. Um, I can only tell you that I wouldn't do it, so I don't believe in it. Um, I don't know why we're selling weapons to Saudi Arabia in that sense. Yes. We have a larger picture that's going on, and we're contributing to some of the things that are going on out there, the Syrian refugees. We have a role to play in there. We've contributed to that. So certainly we should not be selling them arms and ruining our, our image in, in the world politics. And to continue on, uh, Peter Tam. If you're asking me how, why we're selling them arms, I don't know. <laughs> it's for money. Well, we have to, you know, is it really for money? Uh, you know, Saudi Arabia, I, I have to tell you, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a, I couldn't really argue with that right now because I actually worked in Saudi Arabia. Um, and, you know, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different country, it's a different culture. If it has to really just do with trades, great. But if there's money and there's the, you know, the politics are getting involved and those vehicles are being used and a uh, and, and something that you know we do not support and condone too, then uh, I, I would definitely not support any type type of trade or even a business. Thank you, Mr. Tam, and to Bob D. For us, it's a question of choices. Are we going to fight wars or are we going to be peacekeepers? And I, when I think of Canada and what I'm proud of as a Canadian. I think of us as peacekeepers. Yes. Okay. That's what we have to get back to. Yes. We cannot keep fighting America's wars. We yes. have to get back to working with the United Nations, working with the Security Council, and we have to support the victims of these terrible wars that are happening. And right now what's happening with the Syrian refugees is reprehensible. We need to get them right away, 10,000 refugees, into Canada as soon as possible to live up to our UN obligations. Well, that's the false choice, Bob. I mean, his, historically, anybody in, in that would understand the geopolitical landscape would recognize that we have to obviously be peacekeepers, but also at times we have to stand up and fight uh, certain forces or terrorism, especially ISIS in Syria. I think it's appalling that the opposition decided to do nothing. And here now, the Syrian refugee crisis. Now, we've given $750 million humanitarian, but we've got to do more than just that. We've also got to go at its source where, of course, thousands, hundreds of thousands of migrants are being misplaced and, and leaving the country. I think it needs to be a balanced approach, and I think that's what we're doing. Because the refugee crisis can be solved, or we can approach it with a refugee plan, but also humanitarian, but also militarily. And I do think also that we should stand up for human rights around the world, let's be a voice, but also recognize in doing that, that we do, as Peter said, there are trade deals or contracts. With China, for example, there's human rights violations there. But we would all recognize that we, in a global market, have to continue to uh, make wise decisions, but also stand up and be a voice for human rights. And I think that's what our Prime Minister's done. And thank you for your comments. Uh, to wrap it up, Steve Renta. We don't need to be spending the efforts of our engineers and workers on blood money. Yes. We don't need to make war machines for other countries to cause murder around the world. We should be concentrating, first of all, on defending Canada, getting out of the orbit of the United States where they're forcing us to buy F-35s, which are no good for anything but bombing third world countries, building battleships to sail all around the world as part of an American armada. Mm -hmm. We should be able to rescue those two people who just fell out of their sailboat in English Bay. We should be able to defend our airspace and we should be able to defend our coasts. We, our defense forces and our defense, our military, should be for defending Canadians. Not being another pawn in some big game getting played on a board that we don't have any say in. Yes! Woo!